hello Benjamin so because we both enjoyed 10 minutes to bed little dragon I've got us another story from the land of nod and this story from the land of nod is called 10 minutes to bed little dinosaur there's little dinosaur there's a volcano in the background exploding here's the land of Nod. So today's story is here in the Enchanted Valley. In the, there's the Enchanted Valley with the dinosaur in. And there's the volcano and the Black Mountain. So. Ten minutes to bed, little dinosaur. In a faraway land across mountains and seas. Where strange creatures live among tall jungle trees. There can often be heard a great echoing roar. Ten minutes to bed, little dinosaur. With three, one, two, three, pointed horns and four great big feet. Rumbles crushing around in the heat. Nine minutes to bed. Don't go far, warmed his mum. But li this little dinosaur loved to have fun. Deep in the jungle, a hullabaloo. Frogs hopped about as birds fluttered and flew. Eight minutes to bed came the call, loud and strong. As Rumble the dinosaur thundered along. Splashing about in a warm pool of mud and chasing his tail till he fell with a thud. He knew there were just seven minutes to bed, but Rumble preferred an adventure instead. Passing through mountains, he heard a strange sound. The world seemed to tremble from deep underground. He looked into the sky with six minutes to go and saw a volcano beginning to glow. From the sky came a roar. Rumble stumbled and ducked. Boom! Go on, Ben, you make the sound of the volcano. Boom! The volcano began to erupt. Hot lava bubbled, the sky filled with ash. Rocks crumbled and fell to the ground with a crash. From out of the valley poured dino dinosaurs small, dinosaurs heavy and dinosaurs tall. The ground below shook as they all hurtled past. Five minutes, they said, so you better run fast. As he ran with his heart beating fast in his chest, Rumble finally saw a safe place he could rest. Four minutes to bed, but where am I, I wonder? From high in the sky came a loud roll of thunder. Below a great mountain where birds swoop and soar, lay Rumble, the littlest dinosaur. Three minutes to bed, said a voice from the gloom, and a shadow appeared by the light of the moon. On four great big feet, she bent down to her son. Rumble opened his eyes and looked up at his mum. Two minutes, she said. You are never alone. Then at last, side by side, they both plodded back home. The evening was bathed in a soft silver light. As his mum tucked him up and she kissed him goodnight. One minute to bed, that means no more exploring. But Rumble was already fast asleep snoring. And there we have it. It's the land of Nod at bedtime. 
and there's little Rumble fast asleep, just like you need to be, Benjamin. I hope you like that story. I like that one. What do you prefer? Do you like Little Dinosaur or Little Dragon? I think I prefer Little Dinosaur. Right. I love you, Benjamin. See you in the morning. Bye.